Uh, I'm eating a toaster strudel. I'm drinking coffee. And there's this TikTok. My mutuals have been doing this thing recently where they will... Sorry, my desk squeaks. That's because I need to adjust it. Doesn't matter. Um, my mutuals will do this thing Well, instead of making a video response to a person, they will make a video response, put it on friends only, so that person can't see it. And then <laughs> they will say, check out the, you know, the comments that led to this initial comment. And it's always like crazy hilarious stuff. Somebody did one recently where this one girl was just so like aggressive, right? In the comments and she was just like a know-it-all. And like the premise of the video was if your family have a family match with a black person on like an ancestry or whatever, you both do DNA test and you get a match and the, your family is white, the other family is black. She had someone who matched with her family and say, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I wonder where and how we matched. And for a black person, it's like uh, obvious what happened, where, where the mix came. Um, white people don't always understand that. So she was super excited and enthusiastic to, you know, get down to the root when it happened. And the creator who was black was like, eh, maybe we should just uh, take, a, take a minute because it, it would have been probably traumatic for the black person. Anyways, she got this comment where this girl was like, you're stupid, you're, you're the one who put in a DNA test, and wow, you got results from a DNA test, and now you're saying that she shouldn't be enthusiastic because you didn't like the way the test turned out. And then the creator was like, no, that's not what I was saying. I was saying that, you know, just try to be sensitive because a lot of back in the enslaved days, um, a lot of mixed babies were not happy <laughs> they weren't they weren't accidents happy they weren't um consensual anyways uh so of course i read those comments and then i like she was just so aggressive in the comments you, you can't tone comments i can uh but you, you really can't um but i could i could see her who says Oh my god, you're upset. Like, it just screamed ang angry and just like uh, not understanding. So, of course, I go to her account. Oh, and it's a treasure, it's a treasure trove of just her responding to people who ended up deleting her comments and all this other stuff. So, I'm just like eating my toaster strudel and drinking my coffee and reading, <sighs> watching her just be toxic and she doesn't think she's toxic because like her stance is like anything about another per race is disgusting right this like includes uh you know everyone's using nicknames for white people nowadays my favorite is uh flower rangers it's a good one um, she would say that that's disgusting, any kind of nickname, blah, 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 blah. Like, the reason people use nicknames instead of using white people is because, um, algorithms will flag them, you'll get a community violation, you can put black people, you can put Asian people, you can put any other race, and nothing gets flagged the second you put white and people, um, in your video, it'll get flagged. So people have used nicknames, people have just used YT, so many things. There's a whole Google Doc. Some of them slightly offensive, some of them definitely offensive, and some of them are not offensive, like Flower Ranger. Um, Snow Possum, it's a little on the fence. Regardless, that's not the point of this video. The point is, I am watching her like I'm binge watching a Netflix show. This is just beautiful and strangely I have not seen her in my comments and she seems to be going around the black community just being a mess 
that's what I'm doing. Happy Monday. I went to the grocery store. I didn't take you. I'm bad at this vlog thing. Bye. Um, I have an interview. <laughs> I have an interview. It's work from home. Uh, thank you for completing your online application for a customer service advocate. Work from home position. Based on the information you provided, we're excited to learn more about how your skills and experience align with this role, which I am afraid of because I have not done any like call center customer service work ever, and a lot of people want that. And I'm like, I can't get that experience until you give me that experience. So I think I will just um, lie and look up what other, like, some information of what other people say and then say that like I did it once upon a time um, like in high school or something I don't know um, next step is to do a video interview which officially begins the interviewing process I'm scared we're about to take a practice test for this um, job I'm interviewing with. Practice interview. So I thought you could watch that. Why would my background and experience be a good fit for this job? I don't have a lot. That's not a good answer. Why my background and experience would be a good fit for this job? Throughout all of my previous job experience, a common thread has always been customer service, customer satisfaction. I'm actually doing the actual questions. I'm gonna record one. This is so hard. Luckily, they haven't given me like time limits to think about my answer yet. We'll see. Okay, no prep time. Tell me about a time when you had to deal with, with your emotions in a stressful situation at work. My emotions, okay. I can retry these questions um, if I think I didn't really get my point across or pause. I don't want to. <laughs> Not that I don't want it to be like a perfect answer. I just, I feel like I would be more stressed if I try again. So I think any more than two times wouldn't work for me. This question says, give me an example of a time when you're asked or agreed to take on new or additional responsibilities. Easy. I'll put you here. Anyways, I'm about to ice a toaster strudel. So, um, I was going to tell you about this webinar I just did. It's uh, about a company, and I don't want to give the name of the company, um, in case I get the job. So I guess we need to have like a, a code name, like a secret name. Let's call them, uh, Absolute tech okay so this company absolute tech they have a pretty bad rep online and on reddit um, for being not a great company to start out in tech with which like beggars can't be choosers am i right but anyways i digress i, I applied to them I, all the warning signs. I actually watched a few people on YouTube talk about their experience when they worked with them. One person is currently working and going through training with them and I um I didn't I didn't hate what they had to say. They were both black women, which I find a lot more not credible but like re realistic to my to how I will view it. Black people aren't a monolith, of course, but 
if you get a bunch of like race isn't really that relevant but if you get a bunch of upper middle class uh, white tech bros telling you that something isn't a good fit something is ter a terrible company blah 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 you might be looking for different things than a black woman would be looking for that's pretty much um a black person in general so that's pretty much where my head comes in when it comes to um accepting point of views and how they felt right um but anyways i was crying really hard last night i don't cry often it's the first time i cried this year and i was crying because if i get accepted in this company i will have to relocate i don't know where um I kind of know when, but I will have to move, and I don't, I don't want to move, like, in general. I don't do anything outside, so it's not really my area, like, I'm not like, oh, I don't want to leave this area, it's not that. I don't want to leave my, my mom. Um, I lived, I've been living with her for the past year, um, before I lived with roommates, but that was not a great situation um so i i've i've been living with her and i i like it i actually enjoy living here and i enjoy i enjoy her i enjoy her company and the thought of moving somewhere i moved here with with a friend right i moved to california with a friend from new mexico and that wasn't as scary. Living with a friend. I had lived with roommates in college. I had lived alone for a period in college. And I didn't I didn't like when I was in between roommates, you know, because people were dropping out. I didn't like that. But I, I, I didn't like being alone. And moving to another place would mean I am going to be alone in a new place that I did not choose to go on my own. That's terrifying. And I was discussing it with my mom. My mom's like, go get out. I can get my house back. <laughs> Which, yeah. And uh, I wasn't just scared of being alone. I was scared of change. Taking this job, if they accept me, I'm going to do everything I can to be accepted, but if they accept me, that means change. I will have to change my knowledge, I will have to change my location, I will have to change the type of job I've, I've been working in. And if I decide not to do it, I'm also scared because that means I'm staying still and staying still is just as terrifying right now as moving on I've stood still for a year since the fallout with my roommates and it has been a very healing year and I'm grateful to this year it's been amazing um, I could easily do this for another year but I don't, I don't think I should. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. So I'm going to do this evaluation. I'm pretty much going to fail it, um, which is fine because they have training that I can get into as soon as possible, as soon as I fail it. So um, I need to fail it, give a good video interview, um, and hopefully they accept me into the next portion because um, I don't have any of the core knowledge that I need. Um, all of the knowledge on this, in this industry is uh, self-taught, so I don't know any of the official terms of anything, so yeah. That is what I'm gonna do after I eat my toaster turtle and drink some coffee. So anyways, I will update you later. Anyways, it's Monday, Sun Friday, oh my god, it's Friday. I didn't really record yesterday because I was working on uh, 
study guide. I was working on the study guide because although I did take the um, test for the job, it something was wrong. There's like technical difficulty, so I have to retake it. And I was like, you know what? I, I didn't enjoy saying I don't know for a bunch of questions. So um, I figured I would just copy the study guide, which I was going to do regardless, because it will be helpful in the class I'm currently taking. And then um, retake the, the test, redo the video and everything, and um, send that. I have like three two or three job interviews I have to schedule so I'm going to schedule those and that's really all I'm going to do today all I have planned anyways <laughs> oh, sorry I'll see you later